Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's such a joy to come together and meditate on God's word and spend a few moments in prayer as well. This week we're talking about stewardship and today we'll talk about tending God's garden. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it. Now, a garden does not simply appear out of nowhere full of lush vegetables or beautiful healthy flowers. Just as we make a decision to plant a vegetable garden in, an, in order to enjoy its harvest, we must also make a decision to plant our spiritual garden. Further, we must seek the Lord's direction and guidance as to what we must plant and where we must plant it. And we must be willing to tend it with complete diligence. In John 15, 1 and 2, the Lord Jesus revealed the importance of our spiritual growth. He told us, I am the true vine, and the Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. God has placed us on earth to do some work. I suppose God could have made the world in such a way that we didn't need to work and everything just happened. Maybe the vines could grow on its own and the harvest could just fall into our barns. But this is not so. God created the world so His children could use the fertile soil and the resources to do productive and creative things. Work is not a result of the curse. Rather, work demonstrates our nature as God's image bearers. We must remember that if a garden is left unattended, many things can and will invade it, wrecking havoc, to its harvest. There are weeds that will stunt the growth of the plants. Worms and other bugs will quickly invade and destroy the plants. So whether it is gardening, engineering, teaching, building, or the dozens of other occupations, our work is something like our fathers. We are to shape and change and develop the good creation that God provides. Scripture warns us, get rid of ourselves, of all the things that can cause damage to this garden, to our spiritual gardens, and lose our abundant harvest. By doing productive work in God's world, we show that we are His children. What condition is your garden in? today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this moment, Lord. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that teaches and leads us, O oh God. We thank you for work that you have designed it, O oh Lord. And we pray that in everything that we do, that we may do it in integrity, knowing, Lord, that you have assigned us that work. That, Lord, the work that we do will bear fruit in every area of our lives, O oh God. That we may be a blessing to many people, O oh Father. We thank you, God. We pray, Lord, that you will bless the work of our hands, enlarge and expand our territories. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.